Okay, finally, I, uh, third try on this, and, um, I actually got my tripod in this take. Anyways, we're gonna be, uh, I think it's kind of obvious what we're gonna be reviewing. It's the start of December, um, I got at least nine toys that I plan to review this month, uh, starting with this video, um, and, um, it, it's probably gonna be a good month, um, even though I've already bought these toys, like, months ago, and, you know... It should be kind of obvious that I have them, but whatever. <clears throat> I'm just here to review them and all and uh, get more attention and views. Um, anyways, we, all three of these toys I'm going to be reviewing in this video are from Santa. Um, except the uh, last one, or uh, yeah, last one that I'll be reviewing is going to be an 04 toy. However, the 04 ornament is also a replacement of an original ornament that I'm also going to be reviewing in this video. Damn, I sounded way better when I actually said it the first uh, time through, but third times, I guess, is a charm. So let's just get on with it already. So first up, we have the, um, what is it? The Flight of Fancy Santa Drop Cinema Mobile. Um, I have the Rod Mobile piece too, but I don't feel like bringing that over because I feel like my camera is in a good position. And, um, I don't really want to ruin it or anything, but, so it's better off to just review the pieces individually anyways. So first we got a uh, little Santa in his parachute. Looks like he has a bell for a, z a zip cord for his parachute. Don't really see those that often. I don't know where I can find one of those. Um, <clears throat> and then for some reason he has like, what, a horn? Or is that another bell? I also I, I I assume it's a bell at least because that handle just does not look like a little end piece of like a horn or anything, you know. Um, he also has a backpack full of toys. Shouldn't it be a sack? I mean, whatever. It's it's uh, the sand drops in mobile. Like it's it's still cool either way. It's always fun to get a little creative with Sam, anyways. Um. Yes, and I do like the detail on it. It's definitely nice. Um, and as for his parachute, well, I tried uh, squishing it just to make it a more circular shape instead of oval, and uh, guess what happened? I fucked up and I cracked it. Right there, you see that? Actually, there's like two cracks, actually. Yeah, see that? The two cracks, right there. Do not fuck around with toys that were made like 30 or something years ago. Because those things, they're like old. They cannot be replaced, especially if they've been discontinued. Like this. Sure, they may be expensive on eBay, but they're just, they're just not really hard to, they're, bleh. They're hard to come by when, um, when, uh, they're cheap. Because barely any of them I see on eBay, they're, like, cheap at all. I had to pay $106 for this thing, and, uh, believe me, it was kind of fun actually because uh you want to know the reason why i actually bought this in the first place tell you yes what is the most recent popular video on my channel within the last month or so if you guessed be classics then well i guess you're correct but if you didn't then what the fuck are you doing you're living under a rock um but yeah no this was the main reason why i actually bought it is because um during the beginning of production, um, we planned to uh, put in the German uh, dance scene with uh, the video because we feel like that was a good mix um, for uh, the video itself. Like, it would be a good transition from after the bugs and after they zoom by with that bell ding, uh, this, bleh, the bell scene would happen and then... All that stuff. Although we could have just done the we Carol Wexford and then um, just did the mouse scene after that. And yeah, could have transitioned over to mouse. It could have been done in the hundred B classics. Could have been like done in a hundred other ways. But we just you know we decided to go that way. And obviously, since we did German dance, it required uh, to get the Santa uh, drops in mobile and the Twinkling Tree, which I actually do have as well. But you're not going to see that for this, this uh, today's review. Maybe later this month, but 
Not today, because I already have plans for other things. Anyways, here's the plane. Um, it does turn on. I do like the details of the elf and everything. Also, what's fun is that you can easily just do this. And just make it go by without your hand in the way, so... You know, that's actually pretty easy. The the Santa part, uh, that was kind of a pain in the ass for me to film since, you know, I was in a basement and the, there was a shadow and everything. You you saw the clip. It was not that great. But, again, that was uh, the best thing that uh, my editors could do. And, you know, they did fine with it. I'm happy with the final results. I could obviously film new clips with the black background anyways I have up here. But, for now, I'm happy with what I have. Um... Also, another thing I kind of always wanted to do was, uh, ow, 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 yeah, obviously nothing happened, this is obviously a battery operated plane, um, obviously you will not get your fingers sliced off or your throat slit or anything, so if you're totally fine, stop complaining, it's... Literally just a battery after the propeller. Uh, but it, this is the part where, you know, the plane, you know, it makes the plane go and everything, obviously. Um, so, yeah, this is obviously an important piece, either way. Um, interesting fact, though, is the fact that uh, the Flight of Fancy, uh, po no, Possible Dreams Company. Why do I say Flight of Fancy? No, Flight of Fancy is the name of the series. The company name was Possible Dreams. Yeah, no. Possible Dreams was actually in my state, in Foxborough, Massachusetts. That Honestly, I find that kind of crazy, but, you know, obviously the company's not around anymore. I live right near Foxborough, in fact, and uh, I don't really see any advertisements for Possible Dreams anymore. So they obviously discontinued their company in, like, I want to say, like, 2003, I think, because... I think that was like the most recent mobile that I've seen on eBay. I think it was a mobile that was copyrighted in uh, 2003. I forget which one though, but you know, who, who knows? It's still a pretty good mobile anyways. It's definitely interesting, but again, the whole reason why I bought it was because of BE Classics. Next up, we have the two ornaments that replaced one another in the 2000 and 04 version. Um, got these both this year, at, obviously at separate times. One in March, um, actually on St. Patrick's Day too, actually. One on St. Patrick's Day of this year, and the other one on, I think it was July 14th, I think? Who, who, who cares about the dates? The main part is that I got one in July and the other one on March. Um, and, uh, actually, you know what, I'll just review, I'll just show both, but I'll just review one at a time. It's the uh, reindeer ornament, both the 2000 and 04 version. Yes, I actually own both, which is probably not surprising because uh, I actually because both of these actually made an appearance in BE Classics as well. Um, but again, uh, both of them are very unique ornaments. Um, this one is a frosted reindeer uh, with glitter antlers and bells and everything still pretty awesome it's definitely one of my favorite ornaments that i've gotten this year but obviously we have the um what should i call it the the seahorse ornaments which i definitely do think was definitely one of the best ornaments i've gotten this year um definitely gotten a lot of ornaments this year but i think the seahorse ornaments would definitely have to top it off um but this probably coming in as a runner-up but you know, it, it this thing has definitely became more common to find this year, um, more than any other year. I think uh, Nathan found his earlier before mine. I think around the same time I got in the 04 reindeer, but <clears throat> he found his earlier this year, I think. And then I found mine, thanks to Google Lens. Um, found one on eBay alongside this thing in the process, but we'll talk about this later. Um, and then I had to actually wait for, like, five days in order for the seller to come back from vacation and everything, and within, 
a couple of days he got back and I bought this thing without anyone else knowing. And it cost a good, like, $14 in total, which, you know, like, $8 for this thing, plus shipping. Totally worth it. Um, and in the process, I also found a Glare Golden uh, version of this um, right after I bought this one. And I decided to buy it, too. So now I actually have two of them. Um, a frosted original one and a glittered golden one. Um, I don't think the gold one is actually made out of glass. I could be wrong, but, you know, it, it definitely seems a little bit harder to break. But, you know, I could be wrong. Still, I'm, I'm happy that I actually have two, so in case, if, if, you know, one breaks, I, can, I always have the other one. But obviously, I don't want to break this one, though, because, like, it's special. The most recent uh, findings of this was on eBay. Um, I actually found one a couple of days ago on eBay in a lot with another reindeer ornament. And um, that got sold pretty quickly, though. It, it was like 12 bucks, and I don't even know who bought it, but... Um, you know, I guess lucky them. But yeah, no, this thing was actually more thinner than I thought, like... I thought this thing was actually going to be a little bit thicker. Um, but no, apparently not. Um, apparently these versions are also a little bit more common to find. Because turns out there's actually a white version made from a, another weird company. That, um, that actually sells them on Amazon for like, I want to say like six to five dollars. Five or six dollars. One of the two, but... Obviously, they kind of still make them, but not really. If you want to get the frosted one, then good luck, because those ones are pretty hard to find. But any other versions of it, you'll most likely find on eBay or whatever. But obviously, very hard to find the frosted one, though, too. There are versions out there, though, with, the, um, with a bigger reindeer, I think. And obviously, the reindeer has bigger antlers and all that stuff. Which I actually mistaken it for this at first, but... Looking back, it's definitely not it. Although, they are related, though, to each other, since I've seen listings before of having these with the other reindeer in it, and they're obviously related to each other, so, you know. I guess that's kind of good, I guess, since, you know, there's more than one reindeer that's manufactured from the same company as this, I guess. Or whatever the company is, you know. Um... I literally spent, like, 12 minutes reviewing two toys, so let's just get on with the third one already so I can actually end this within, like, less than maybe 16 minutes. Next up, we have, um, the 04 version of the reindeer ornament. Um, this one is actually pretty unique, I will say. Not only the fact that, like what George said once, this thing's actually made out of plastic. No, seriously, no, this thing actually is made out of plastic. He ain't lying. I could literally chuckle this against a wall and then, like, but it would still be fine. Not trying to recreate that, but whatever. No, I'm I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna damage any of my stuff, just to prove a MythBusters to you or anything. But no, but uh, this thing is pretty awesome though. Um, good plastic, uh, metal antlers that are definitely going crazy insane. Um, and the best part is. We all thought this was made by Midwest for a number of years, right? And what do you think it is made by, huh? Not Midwest. None other than Kurt S. Adler. Although we still don't know the company name, though, but still, whatever. The important thing is that we also that we actually know the company name for it now. It's made by Kurt S. Adler. Handcrafted. And it was made somewhere between um, somewhere before 04 or during 04. Because that's obviously when it first came out in the video. Um, just like with this, there are at least like maybe two other versions out there of this. There is a gold one and a silver one, which is also the same one Nathan has. But <clears throat> there is a gold one out there that I actually found uh, earlier this year. Didn't obviously bother getting it because I already had this one at the time, but... Again, still pretty cool ornament. Um, definitely like this one a lot. Uh, definitely one of my favorites as well. Um, I also found this uh, not too long ago on eBay as well for like 12 bucks. 
Um, <coughs> barely didn't even tell anyone either because I would assume somebody would have known about it, but I, I don't know. It, it got sold like last month, so who knows? Maybe somebody did find out about this and they did buy it. Could have been a BE enthusiast, could have not been, but again, really, who knows? Um, I am just happy though that I actually own this thing and it definitely took some time and in fact... What's even crazy is that, oh, are the antlers wobbling? I'm hearing something wobbling. It's probably the antlers, but whatever. What's actually crazy is that this wasn't the only ornament that I actually got around that time. Because um, during my findings of this, I also came across the Vickerman's uh, Teardrop Disco Ball Ornaments. The ones from the German dance from Santa. Um, it was in a lot of five, including the original, even though the original one did not have a diamond gem thing on the bottom, like all the others. Anyways, um, right after I bought this, um, I decided to buy the, uh, the lot of five disco ball ornaments, and you could pretty much say that I was going at for a spree in, uh, March of a lot of stuff. I think I was mostly getting a bunch of McDonald and Santa toys at the time, even though... In the end, Santa became uh, one of the highest um, toy rankings of my toy collections of this year. Um, it's kind of like, a, it's going back and forth between Numbers Nursery and Santa. Um, I think both of them actually have like 11 or 12 each. So, again, pretty insane that i actually gotten so many shit this year. Um, I'm actually currently at like 94 toys at the time I'm recording this, so... You know, um, I might reach 100 by the end of the year. Who knows? I could obviously get at least six more toys by the time New Year's um, comes around. I, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. They won't be reviewed in 2023, obviously, but you'll definitely see them at some point in the future. Um, but that is about it, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this long-ass video that was pretty unnecessary. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this trio of ornaments that took me very long to review, um, make sure you guys like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Definitely would help out since we're kind of getting close to 3,000 subscribers. Definitely would help out. Um, anyways, um, yeah, this is Cameron C signing out. Until next time, bye.